My name is Maria. I'd like to tell you about a major issue. It's your personal concern. It's the concern of your nearest and dearest, of all the people living on the planet. It's inevitable absolutely for everybody, but surprisingly little is known about it. It's not a common practice to talk about this problem and moreover to try to solve it. What do you think about 30 million lives? Just imagine that all the people in Denmark, Austria, Finland, Israel and New Zealand disappeared in one year. Would you consider it a problem? But no one pays attention. The catastrophe happens daily. 100,000 deaths a day is normal. AIDS, hunger and flu virus in terms of mortality are not even remotely comparable to the problem I'd like to tell you about. I'm talking about aging. It is aging that causes most diseases. It causes pain and suffering, brings frailty and loneliness. Aging is the main cause of death. Nobody truly and explicitly knows why it is happening. There are many hypotheses. Maybe aging is mediated by telomere shortening. Perhaps it's associated with oxidative stress, or with cell loss, or with functional changes in the biological systems of an organism. We need to learn a lot. Why do animals with negligible senescence exist? Are there any cell-destructive programs encrypted in our genome? There are many puzzles and mysteries in the mechanisms of aging. Equally puzzling is why the fight against aging is not on the world's agenda. Are just a few people interested in why we're aging? There are plenty of ideas about how to prolong life, how to prolong youth, how to make a human being potentially healthier and hence happier. For that, we must learn to ensure genome stability, to normalize gene expression, to influence protein turnover processes, uh, to resist cellular aging and accumulation of damage in a cell and extracellular matrix. We must learn how to restore immunity and hormonal regulation. Grand scientific breakthroughs have already been made. Researchers are able to reprogram cells, to influence epigenetic regulation, to grow new organs, to significantly extend lifespan of model animals. However, it's the fundamental biogerontology that receives little funding. And it's all because the most important thing is missing. There is no political will. The world is in need of a mega project on the fight against aging. It's the most complicated task in the human history. Individuals cannot accomplish it. Scientific mobilization is needed. Even a partial slowdown of aging could save hundreds of millions of human lives. It's hard to think of a more honorable political task. There are people now preparing an expedition to Mars. I'd like to propose another trip to you. Let's visit the year 2100. I'd also like to remind Oscar Wilde's words to all who still doubt. Nothing is worth doing except what the world says is impossible. Many of what was declared science fiction is reality today, and it's only up to you if you're going to become the traveler to the future. Let's solve this problem together. My name is Maria Konovalenko and I represent the Science for Life Extension Foundation.